There's bouncing back from a big defeat like PSG. And then there's what Manchester United did to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. A ground at which Manchester United had previously only won three of their last 25 games. With a team without Jesse Lingard and Anthony Martial, who both missed the game through injury, and when they were taken off against PSG, Man United's attacking spark went with them. But Man United destroyed Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. To a man, every United player was 8 out of 10 or above. Man United were absolutely sensational that night. And we didn't just beat Chelsea. We forced their fans to boo Sari at halftime, boo Sari at full time and shout fuck Sari ball. It was the most glorious of nights at Stamford Bridge. And for me, after that match, it raises the one last major question for now that I've got about Solskjaer and the Manchester United job and whether he can get it full time or not. Because on Sunday, Manchester United face Liverpool. Arguably the biggest game that Solskjaer has had in charge of Manchester United so far. Some would argue PSG, but some can't look past Liverpool at home. And the question for me is if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can steer his Manchester United team to beat Liverpool on Sunday, does he then make it impossible for Manchester United not to give him the job in the summer, regardless of then what happens in the rest of the season? That's the question for today. Now, I would explain what I mean when I say can Solskjaer make it impossible for United not to give him the job? I'll do that in the video. Before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, come on, get involved, subscribe, but let's get into it. First things first though, it is an absolute buzz right now for Manchester United and Manchester United's fans. After a few years of up and downs with Van Gaal, Moyes, with Mourinho, and just the dour nature of Mourinho's third season, Morale was quite low within the club and certainly within the fans. Woo, not anymore. Did you see Stamford Bridge on Monday night? Take a look at this video. It's hard to remember that only a couple of months ago, Jose Mourinho was our manager and feeling in the club was quite low because Solskjaer has transformed that since he's arrived with Mike Phelan. When finishing in the top four with Mourinho in charge was an impossible dream, now it's an absolute reality and United are almost favourites to do it. And that's because of the wonderful work that Solskjaer is doing, Phelan's doing, McKenna and Carrick are doing in the behind the scenes and re-establishing the identity of the club and re-establishing that link between the fans and the club because it is a buzz to go and see United again. That had diminished somewhat, but it's come back in abundance under Solskjaer. And it's not just with the fans. Because if you look at the players as well, it's being replicated on the pitch. What you're seeing in the stands, everybody's singing, Ole is at the wheel for 90 minutes. You're seeing football's equivalent of that. Take Ander Herrera after the Chelsea game. He goes up to Alexis Sanchez and he is buzzing after what was a man of the match performance. And Herrera there motivating Sanchez. Letting him know that he played well after he came on. A player who, let's be honest, is down in the dumps at United. But Herrera, captain without the armband, is so motivated at the moment by what is happening under Solskjaer that he's letting that rub off onto other players. It's really what you want to see from United's players and every player versus Chelsea was sensational. I think you can pretty much say that about most players, if not every player, under Solskjaer so far. Maybe sensational is a bit strong, but just the fact that we're seeing commitment from these players who only a couple of months ago had effectively down tools, didn't seem like they gave a fuck about the shirt they are wearing, it's not the case anymore. Pogba and Rashford, Rashford in particular, my, my, my. He is just embodying everything that is good at Manchester United at the moment. And that's what I'm saying. The transformation is not just on the players on the pitch. It's not just the fans in the stands. It's every single fabric of the club is aligning. 
So on the pitch with the players and off the pitch with the fans, Solskjaer has got everybody singing from the same hymn sheet. And there's a real unity at United at the moment. As I said, with the fans, with the players, everything that you're seeing, it's just, everything's aligning. And that's all down to Solskjaer and the work he has done in re-establishing the identity of this football club. And I now don't think that a couple of losses or anything between now and the end of the season is going to undo that good work that Solskjaer has done. And I really have seen more than enough to suggest that Solskjaer has all the capability of being more than an interim manager for Manchester United. Solskjaer has done what I felt was impossible in such a short space of time in re-establishing the identity of United, the football we're playing, getting the players playing for United again and getting the fans singing his name for a full 90 minutes. Which raises my next question. What if Solskjaer can beat Liverpool on Sunday? If Solskjaer can put a genuine dent in this Liverpool title bid, the buzz at Old Trafford would be absolutely insane. Now, I'm not even slightly suggesting that if we beat Liverpool on Sunday, Man United announced Solskjaer as manager there and then. I think Manchester United wait until the end of the season, whether that's Solskjaer or somebody else. That's the right decision. But does Solskjaer make it almost impossible for United not to give him the job if United do beat Liverpool on Sunday? And by asking that, I mean, would United really risk not giving Solskjaer the job after everything that's happened if we do beat Liverpool on Sunday. Would United really ask Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to, to leave the club after everything that you've done the last couple of months? It's been brilliant, but you can leave. Would United really ask Mike Phelan, Michael Carrick, Kieran McKenna, say, look, you've done a brilliant job, you can leave. Would United really bring in a new manager, whether that's Mauricio Pochettino or anybody else, and give them the funds and say, look, now it's your turn. Would United's board really go against the massive popular opinion of the fan base in support of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, especially if we beat Liverpool on Sunday? I'm really not sure that they would. But of course, no matter what United decide to do in the summer, it's going to be a risk. But if Solskjaer beats Liverpool, which represents the greater risk? Would it be giving the job to Solskjaer, who has beaten Arsenal away this season, beaten Chelsea away this season, beaten Spurs away this season, and if we win on Sunday, beating Liverpool? Hell, maybe we can even have a miracle in Paris. Or would it be turning your back on that completely and bringing in somebody else that has that experience, that does have that pedigree? Which of those would be the greater risk if victory comes for United on Sunday. That's what I meant when I asked, can Solskjaer make it impossible for United not to give him the job if United beat Liverpool on Sunday? It's asking whether or not the board would actually be able to effectively sack Solskjaer after beating Chelsea, Arsenal, Spurs, Liverpool. So many different occasions. So much progress since Mourinho's gone out the door. Would United actually have the possibility to turn their back on that and say, you know what, we've got a better idea? That might be taken away from them. It might be impossible not to give Solskjaer the job after Sunday. Because at that point, you'd have to say that Solskjaer is, is no flash in the pan. If he's done it against Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea and Spurs, he's not a flash in the pan. He's a manager more than capable of t more than t he's, he's already turned Manchester United around, but taking us back up to that next level, that's the question mark. That's where the risk lies. And that's where the questions still remain. But let me know what you think about this idea that Solskjaer could make it impossible for the club not to give him the job after Sunday if we do beat Liverpool. I'm really interested to know what you think. And if maybe you disagree with what I'm saying here, and you know I'm saying that there's, may, there may be too much wind in the sails of Solskjaer after Sunday, for the club not to give him the job. If you don't think that's the case, I'd be really interested to know what you think in the comments below. So make sure you leave your comments down below. But that is it for today's video. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. I'd be really interested to know what you've got to say though.